Please, sir, may I have some more? <laughs> it's my soapbox. Can we start now? Is what? everyone no, ready? My, my Is everyone ready? <laughs> no, it's like not in my soapbox. Right, no one cares, Joe. You'll just have to find it throughout. <laughs> it's, in the, it's in the chat, okay? I'm going to start, so everyone just shut up or I will kick you the fuck out of this call. Okay? Right. Three, two, one. <laughs> What's up, guys? Jay here, and welcome to the sixth instalment of Play the Game. Joining me today, like I said, have... <laughs> <laughs> Joining me today, we have uh, Z. Tony is uh, joining us for the second time. We have Joe, as always. We have V or Valentine, another British chap um, who's Yo. a friend of mine. We used to have six, but now I'm just going to ignore him for the whole of the podcast. What? Um, but anyway, let's go through this week's game releases, shall we, chaps, before I murder someone. So, this week, we had Steel Battalion Heavy Armor, which was released on June 22nd for the Xbox 360. Oh. Shut hey, up. Geez. We then oh, had... Games are exactly bad. PS3 all time. We then had Sid Meier's Civilization V, Gods and Kings, for the PC, released June 22nd. We had Lego Five. Batman 2. DC yeah. Superheroes, which was released for all platforms, including the PS Vita. Um, we had Pro Cycling Manager Season 2012, Litor de France. And we had some game that I can't pronounce. And we had Scandinavian Truck Driver Simulator, the game. Woohoo! What? <laughs> yeah. I'll be looking yeah. forward to that all year. Yep. We also had Manic Miner, which is a um, uh, a Xbox indie game about uh, probably like a Minecraft ripoff or something. Dungeons Gold Edition for the PC, Just Dance Greatest Hits, Mutant Muds, Gunlord for the uh, the DS. Oh God, I haven't heard that thing in a while. Uh, we had some games for the Wii, Save the Furries, um, and that was it for this week's gaming releases. So oh, wait, it didn't include the PlayStation Network releases. Oh no. Please. Racist. Racist? What? Wait, what? Latest. Racist. Oh, PlayStation no, Network releases. Okay, wait there. Let me just... We had Lego Batman, DC Superheroes, and Magic the Gathering, Jewels of the Planewalkers, 2013. And don't forget, they also had the most important release of our generation. Tomba 1 for the PlayStation 1 Classics. Yes. Ooh, ooh, oh, really? Ooh. That sounds good. But anyway, um, <laughs> someone say here. Tony, take it away. Hello. Save, 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 save me. Say a few things. Do something. Okay, I'll do something. Hi, folks. Um, <laughs> this is a Play the Game podcast, and uh, currently we're... This is the um, the English versus the Brits version. Yeah, yep. that's the same thing. The Americans versus the Brits version. <laughs> it's the Revolutionary have... War! Ha 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 ha! ha. <laughs> Direct Evil Oh. I dare you chaps come over here and take us. Take my crumpets, you bastards. <laughs> you said we'll I take your you. crumpets along with your queen. You may, may you may take my freedom, but you ne- may never take my tea. <laughs> oh, you can have your tea. <laughs> You're fired. <laughs> y- you're fired. Bye. See ya. Or <laughs> oh, the weakest link. Goodbye. He's not going. Um, oh, man. But anyway, um, seriously now, Z, um, what what would you like to talk about this week? We're going to start off with our gaming-related topics, as we do always. Then we're going to transition on to our weirder, stranger Well, topics. who's playing Mexican music <laughs> down their microphone? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Okay, oh when gosh. I asked for non-licensed music, I didn't mean for like mariachi bands. <laughs> <laughs> la cucaracha, la cucaracha. <laughs> Run around the kitchen when you turn off the light. Right, okay. So okay. Take- okay, well, look, I found this really cool article on Yahoo, of course, where I get all of my lame news. And it's not really lame. I actually like the news. I'm fine. But there are God snowflakes the on Mars. There yeah. are snow lakes. Snowflakes. Game of that. Snowflakes. On snowflakes. Game related. And this is gaming related news. How? Absolutely no game related at all. I just wanted to talk about snowflakes on Mars because that's awesome. You know what? You may talk about snowflakes on Mars. You have my permission. I th- I think we finally broke Jay today. 
Yeah. Yay. As you guys may or may not be able to tell, I'm just like having a bad day. Like everything went wrong. We were trying to set up the stream and then V started talking about some bullshit that annoyed me. And then Sixer <laughs> still thanks, has thanks, that thanks. grudge. Then Sixer has a grudge from like two weeks ago where <laughs> I accidentally didn't save him on my No! And now I'm the most hated person no! on the show. <laughs> And then, and then everything, and then, and then the stream didn't work. So he was getting all pissed off, and he was like, "Forever, and Kai back. It's not working." And then, and then everything just went wrong. So no, 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 no! You do not accidentally close the door five or six times, laughing in the process. I have <laughs> my finger may or may not have seized up whilst whilst on the on the E key, which meant that I couldn't take it off. So the door kept opening and closing. Okay. No. Uh, ha, 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 girls, sure. girls, get a room. Anyways. Yes, mom. Anyways, Z, what about snowflakes? I think in the in the in the uh, uh, chat with uh, to this thing. Anyways, snowflakes on Mars are smaller than their Earth counterparts. They're roughly the same diameter as a human blood cell. The new new report yeah. studies. It's actually really cool and that, it, that we uh, you know, have stuff like this growing on under the planet. Now, I mean, theoretically, if you look at it. Eventually, moon the the Earth will move out of the safe spot in the uh, in the solar system, and it'll become you know uh, what is it Mercury? What the hell is the second planet? I don't know. Venus. 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 Wow. It'll, it'll, play, it'll take uh, Venus's. Stop playing the mariachi bands. <laughs> eventually, Mercury will be eaten up by the sun, and Earth will take Venus's place, and Mars will actually. Move into the sweet spot in the uh, galaxy or the our, in our solar system where it's far enough well, away from the sun to get cooled, but it's not far enough away where it's cold. And I swear to God, if you play any more mariachi music, I'm flying to England and I'm gonna shove my foot up your butt. Thank Who is you. even playing that? Can we please pinpoint it? It's That's you, Sixer. I saw your freaking blue thing show up around your name on Skype. <laughs> <laughs> Please, I will kick you. Please, I don't want to do that. I've never done that before. I've never got, got annoyed with anyone I've ever spoke to before on this show. But please, please hey, what about my bus? Just, no, please, Sixer, don't do this. At the Mexican restaurant? <laughs> Why? You are not streaming at a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> Bet the internet's good there, right? Eh? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Uno oh. más cerveza, amigo. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, um, Hola, amigos. someone else pick up with a topic, please. Okay, I have something Gaming that's related actually, topic. I have something that's actually game related. Oh, sweet. Right. Please save me. Uh, shenanigans. The news, shenanigans. Shenanigans. Ooh. <laughs> the, um, the new <laughs> Super Smash Brothers game uh is uh well as for anybody who's ever played super smash brothers uh it's always been developed by hal laboratories um and the guys you know who made kirby and all that stuff and pretty decent games and if you want to get a group of friends together have fun and all that turns out that the new super smash brothers is actually being developed by namco bandai oh nifty oh wow oh oh cool shenanigans yeah <laughs> Shenanigans, indeed. Well, um, you know, what do you guys think of Super Smash Brothers PlayStation Three? <laughs> Haven't played oh, it yet. Uh, mm -hmm. what was it PlayStation All Stars Battle Royale or something? Yeah, you that know, game looks pretty good. It does. It actually looks really cool. I mean, you know, take control of Kratos and everybody else and Kratos. Wait, other. Kratos? Did you Kratos. 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 Angriest man in all of Greece. Kratos. 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 Is this now play the game the gay British version? <laughs> to totes, babes. Kratos. Joe, do you have a subject, Joe? Because you're just sitting back there all quiet and not saying anything. And I think we should put Joe on the spot even more because he never talks. Joe, yeah. Joe, 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 Joe. Uh, no, I did not have a topic. Oh, wow. So, yeah. Joe, the one time, the one time that we rely on you. Joe, yeah. this is your chance to build a fan base. Come on, dude. Come on now, friend. Pull one out. Uh, Do it. Dig deep. White Boy's new top three fails of the week. Go away. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Joe. Okay, let's give Joe a second to, to jump on Reddit and get a thing. And now let's go to our newest guest, 
Let's go to Valentine Pirelli. Um, uh, hit me up with the topic, bro. Oh, there's there's only one real topic topic that I'm really looking at, and that's the new Metal Gear Solid, uh, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance coming out in 2013. You say that one more time for me. Just the world's worst <laughs> Leave him alone, you bastard. Sorry. Okay, I'm gonna say that again. Um, Metal Gear Rising Revengeance. It's the newest uh, one in the saga. Um, I'm actually looking forward to it because it actually has one of the actual badass Rated. characters. Yes, thank you. I, you heard... I, I like the guy from 3. Um, Snake. Oh, so he's <laughs> <poor guy. laughs> we all oh I like that guy. I like that guy. Jay, from Jay. Master Chiefs. Yeah, I actually <laughs> like the guy. You know the, you know the, you know the guy that does the thing and saves the planet. Yeah. Hey, you know I like that guy from Call of Duty who shoots things. That he's. Oh, you mean Master? You Chef. mean all of them? Ramirez. Ramirez. Damn it, Ramirez. Ramirez. Tango spoilers. Tango down. Used. Seriously, who what? in that game? You ever notice? Oh, hey, look, we have to go across there, past 500 enemies. Okay, then we have to hold down this building. Ramirez, you got that shit, buddy? Yeah, I got <laughs> no. it. Go shoot down the AC-130 with your throwing knife. That's right. Noticed, I don't know if you guys have noticed that you never actually sort of see your guy's face. So for all we know, Ramirez could be like a small, skinny nerd who's like, yeah, I'll go, I'll go defend your base from the bad guy. Which then, button do I hit to knife? Take down the AC-130 with your throwing knife. Like, I How have. do I mine for bullets? <laughs> <laughs> How does my gun make stuff shenanigans happen? Oh, oh God! How do I shot wow. throwing? Wow! So yeah, Metal Gear Solid. Right? I actually I've never played any of the games, but I did watch Excalibur's play through three. Jay, um, if you send me your address, I will send you the Metal Gear Solid game I've just finished. Oh great! So now I'm getting a million pop tarts in the mail, as well as a bearded <laughs> man. <laughs> Yes, donate to, the, donate to the Days Pop Tarts Fund. That's right. Yeah, I'm already at um oh what's the oh two donations. Look at that. <laughs> My damn son. But anyway, uh yeah, Metal Gear, I liked the game of what I uh, what I saw of it anyway. I, I actually started to watch the let's play of the newest one. Is it like four? The Metal Gear ones? Four is the latest one. If yeah, you don't yeah, count yeah. the uh, PSP versions. Well the P yeah, stuff those. But, like, um, where it's, like, in the future. And I didn't like that. I really liked, like, 3. I thought that that was, like, an awesome game from what I saw of it. Anyway, um, so, yeah, Metal Gear Solid is good. It's a thing that's going to happen in 2013, so stay tuned for that. Joe, you've had time to think of a topic. Yes, and basically I'm going to talk about Lollipop Chainsaw. Woo! Oh, thank you. Yes, that game looks good. London. What? It? That's, That's it. all you came up with? <laughs> <laughs> you distracted everybody for like five minutes. And you said, I want to talk about Lollipop Chainsaw. <laughs> and you say, that game looks good? Way <laughs> to drop the ball there, Joe. Can you, can you maybe, um, maybe go into elaborate more detail, Joe? That? Yeah, elaborate. elaborate. Uh, well... <laughs> <laughs> Lollipops, there's chainsaws. What is there to like? It looks um really good. Joe, just just shut up. Just go back. To you the... can't just add another word in there and expect me to take that. <laughs> it looks good. It looks really good. <laughs> <laughs> what about it looks good, Joe? What do you yes. think? What about what? it? Um, I don't really know. <laughs> it just looks pretty good. <laughs> oh, Joe. Right. Uh, basically, it's a hack and slash game, and it's developed by Grasshopper. And it just looks really good, as I've said. For this game. <laughs> that is, that is all you've got. No, uh, two oh, no. It has zombies in it, so yeah. Oh, no way. <laughs> yes. I swear to God. I, I, want, I want to see if I can fighting those damn Mexican guys that are playing their music down the microphone. Oh, my it's, God. It's, it's, like, geez. <sighs> How could you hear that? <laughs> Well, it breaks in and out every once in a while. I'm yeah. playing it in my headphones. <laughs> every time you lift your headphones, it might be... PDG, the best quality podcast on the net. Music. That's right. Food. Wow. Did, any, 
We've basically done our whole show in 14 minutes. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Come on. Okay, right. We need to Thanks get into this. Thanks for guys. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs> no. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Rape Squad Killers. Rape Squad Jesus Christ. Rape Squad Killers. killers. That was what I was going to say if you asked me what was up. What was what is Rape Squad Killers spelt with a Z and not an S? Because okay, you're that, gra- that's one of those gra- PKA things. Um, yeah. You know, as much as I don't like mentioning PKA on this, I guess I have to explain what Rape Squad Killer is because I don't want that. No, oh, this is just a PKA ripoff. Come on, guys. Woody didn't create friggin' podcasts. Yeah, I'm, yeah, can I say a piece on that, right? Yeah. So Woody wasn't the first person to create a podcast, nor was he to create the first person who made a gaming-related kind of podcast. And their podcast isn't, isn't really related to gaming. Ours is more sort of gaming-orientated than theirs. They talk about weird shit. They do prank calls and call up subs and stuff. We just do it for fun, okay? We're not trying to get as big as PKA. We're not trying to steal their audience, um, which is clearly not happening. Um and, so, yeah, and just, ladies and gentlemen, this is what a nervous breakdown sounds like. <laughs> this this is what a guy <laughs> has gone this two is days British without trumpets break. sounds like. <laughs> he needs his fucking crumpets! <laughs> he needs them! Get his crumpets and tea, quick! God damn it, where's my tea? <laughs> damn you, oh, Mom! My... Where's my tea? It's been a stressful day. It was actually my sister's birthday today. So we all went out for a delicious meal at a restaurant named Frankie and Benny's. And there was kids there. There was my sister's friends who were really young. And they were like, and I was like, shut the fuck up or I break your neck. And they were like, can you open my tooth? And I was like, oh, my God, I'm going to I'm going to strangle you. I just can't take it, and I was just sat there annoyed, and oh god, it's just. And then you couldn't uh, handle the juice, Jay. I couldn't handle the juice. Couldn't it was handle just, the juice. It was one of those screw bottles, and like my hands were sweaty, <laughs> because so I couldn't open it, and it kept twisting and rubbing against my hands and making them sore. And I couldn't open it. I just started to cry, and everything just went on. You sound as worse as the girls now, Jay. Jesus Christ! <laughs> this is the yeah. worst day ever. <laughs> the worst day ever. Birthday mm. ever. Right. So, what what were we talking about? Wally Pop Chainsaw looks good. Yeah, that's it. No, no, it looks really good. Oh my bad. Total hit. It looks really, like, really good. Okay, let's let, if we're gonna talk about Lovely Pop Chainsaw, let's let's talk about exactly what Lovely Pop Chainsaw is. Okay, I haven't played it yet. I do want to get it and play it, but right now it's not in the cards for me. So, Lovely Pop Chainsaw is your basic. Not really basic. It is a hack and slash zombie killing adventure with a blonde, skimpy cheerleader. You can't be her decapitated boyfriend. And decapitated boyfriend. Now, I'm not particularly big on blondes because I am one. I don't date inside my own species. (sighs) But I take her for a ride. Definitely. Oh, no. We were talking about this last week about, like, you guys. What did you say? Busting a nut to like weird video game nudity. I don't want to get into that again. Thanks. But if it looks hot, doesn't it? You know. Jay went total hipster when he said he wasn't trying to rip off PKA and stay underground. (laughs) (laughs) It's true. Do you even know what a hipster is? Yes, I don't know what your definition of it is, but I don't know what it is in America. What is guys, it in America? America? Guys, search lollipop chainsaw into Google, then look at the second image. Are we talking without say search? Lollipop chainsaw. You know, what? That's you know what? Screw that. Search for lollipop chainsaw and Jessica Negri. Jesus Christ. Oh, uh, yes. Jay? Oh, yeah. I cannot see a difference. Yes. Hey, hey. Wait, I'm what are we talking about there, guys? Dude, I'll just post a link. What? Wait, what What are we talking about here? Why is his? Why is there a boyfriend? Why is there a man's head hanging from her vagina? Uh, I don't understand. What, what, what? It's a zombie. I'm looking at some of these images because I haven't really looked into the game. So it's like, it's a game. Can I explain who this Jessica girl is? Yes. I... Jessica Negri is a, um, is a cosplayer who dresses up like... Um, video game people. She's the body and model for she's, Lollipop Chainsaw. She is just so Stop. perfect. Stop it. But she's Very blonde, much. so not for you. And she's a gamer. She's an actual gamer. She doesn't just yeah. 
We I need, need to get her on the podcast. Like a booth, babe. Yes. PK, Actually, try and get try and get this on on your podcast, Mother Truckers. We're gonna have a, a sexy girl. Well, that'd be awesome. <laughs> oh. I, I like it's the little challenge. Little. Okay. It's a girl. It's Ooh. a girl. He needs to call her up. Call her up. Your tits. Do you know what my prediction is? No. What's that? After he calls her up, she's going to sound like a five year old. I don't know. She's probably going to make one of them. <laughs> There's for some people that, that's not a problem. She probably puts on the voice like when she's playing certain characters. She probably gets really into it and stuff. She probably does. I'd like to really get into that. I meant. <laughs> Jesus yes. Christ, Z! Can we stay away from sex just for one the... podcast? Never. That's the Never. Character that comes with professional cosplayers. They really get into it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Cosplayers. Let's really get into yes. it. Hey man, okay. Okay, this may seem really on topic, but tomorrow I'm actually going to a cosplay party. Don't throw that away. You're a freak. Why would you really? get to a cosplay throw that party? away? This is a piece of memorabilia. Memorabilia? Who are you going to ask? It's like a 1942 dictionary, pocket dictionary. How could you not throw this away? This is awesome. Wait, who's throwing it away? Who's throwing it away? My silly mother. Oh, what a silly mother. What are you doing? What are you playing at, you crazy fool? Jeez, the, the Mexican. Okay, hold on, hold on. Back, back to the cosplay. What are you going as, there, Bubba? Bubba. V. Sorry, I was having a drink. Going as a banana. Drink. Some of that juice. juice. Okay, this kind of goes back to Metal Gear Solid, but I'm going as Drebin eight nine three. Eight nine three. Really? How yeah, many going... friends do you have on Facebook? I'm actually on Facebook because mess... I'm actually on Facebook right now, so I can look. He has 893. No, he doesn't. Are you going uh, to have old monkey with you? Two. <laughs> 114, because I never go on Facebook. Right. I've just judged you. <laughs> but anyway... <clears throat> um, uh, I don't really know. This podcast is very unprofessional this week. <laughs> um, so I apologise for that. It's the great... But, it it we is. It's way. okay. That's the fun part about. I told it. you. We need to let it go and just have more. Yeah, we just just have we, fun. We should have we should have played Left 4 Dead. I'm telling you, we should have we should do the podcast while we're doing Left 4 Dead. Yeah, yeah don't was, uh, don't uh, worry uh, about like ratings. Just just have fun. Sixer, stay, what would you like to talk underground. about? No. Rape Squad Killers. No Rape oh. Squad Killers. Jesus no, Christ. Let's just stay away from PK and just think of something. Yes. Yeah, uh, Kill squad rapers. Yeah. Yeah. Well, now now that you took away my perfect idea, now I have to go on Reddit. Hmm. Oh, great. Don't tell, me that, don't tell me that Lollipop Chainsaw is, is going to be really good. <laughs> it's a really good game. Not just good. Okay, Not so good. I'm looking at a group of pictures of these ducks yeah. attacking and ducks. Uh, uh, tackling this baby kitten. It's really tackling. cute. Tackling. <laughs> They're tackling. Where's yeah. So, let me get this straight. A duck is tackling a baby kitten. Yeah, like a send group of ducks. Me that image. Like send me that it. image. Okay, hold on. Let me get it. Cause I just got out of it. Oh, All right. No. Link. Link. There you go. Stink. You know what? Let's look Link at it. Stink. Okay. Uh, what should we talk about here? Awesome. He's petting. Something non-game related. They're petting. Yeah. That's awesome. The duck is cleaning the cat. Aw, that's cute. Oh, lame! You have... Oh, what a cute little... Th- oh, he's just, he's just rubbing his tummy. Oh. Have you ever been driving and ran over a duck as it was carrying its ducklings across the road? No, I no. don't drive. I'm 13 years old. I know. Same. I hope I never do that. <laughs> Remember that? Yes, <laughs> well, they don't Hello, carry Hello, Sixers, they Mom! Cash. Can we get your mom on the podcast? Six mom. Six yeah, mom. on. Can we get your mom. It's your mother on this podcast. I would like your mother on this podcast. Who is horrible. Why? And that one too. I just want to say hello. <laughs> Shout out to Six's mother. Shout out to Six's mother. Being a, being a, being a boss. Man, I just... Why did you do this? This is why I only knife people in Battlefield 3. Oh, the eyes. I see. I know, they're like, they're looking at you and they're yeah. staring into your soul. <laughs> you stabbed them in the face. Oh, God. 
Ah. Jay, that reminds me. We've got to have a game of Battlefield 3 one day. I'll kick your ass. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'll beat you all. Hey, I'm getting that game for the PC. Um, mm. do, do you guys Yeah, with think... the 64 friggin' gigs of RAM, whatever. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Do that, that, like, since a couple of weeks ago, like, I've upped... The, the price has gone up of the PC that I'm getting so much just because I want it to be, like, the best that it can be. Um, so that I don't have to constantly replace it. And this is what I was trying to get uh, across in the, the pre-show. And I don't know if all you guys got it, but my logic, it, it may be wrong, but is if I get all the best components, what like try and get the best graphics cards and stuff, then I won't have to constantly update my PC every like year or so, which okay. will work out cheaper in the long run. Okay. All that, all that is good until... You got to the RAM part, and we have some epic tech problems. You have to you have to understand the way that this updating thing goes is that you have you do it to to the point where you don't have to update for like the next five years or so. There you go. And according to the majority of the friends that I have, who are primarily PC gamers, I've sent them the specs, and they said that that should last it's about good. then, which is good. That seems totally fine to me. Possibly longer. I'm guessing it will okay. be because um, there's, it's just a rough estimate, which is good. Okay, when you get when you get 64 gigs of RAM, it doesn't work like everything else. Okay, if you get like a, a freaking GTX 10,000, and you put it in your computer, yeah, you'll be good for like six or seven years. Oh yeah. Um, but if Whoa. you get yeah. until you. What the hell are you doing? Oh my god. <laughs> I only just noticed that. I'm pretty sure he's you, been doing that for you, the past He was like, minutes, oh my god, he said just... GTX 1000. He was like, oh yeah. Jesus. I'm sorry, anyway, I, just, I just had to break if, up this, if you have... this talk about, talk about being GTX 1000 and, and, and if you had, and and I'm sorry, I just figured I'd cost you. <laughs> Start some bullshit up. Okay, uh, yeah, so, that's a if, like so but if you have something like 64 gigs of RAM, if it doesn't work like, like it's not going to last. Oh, yeah, you. yeah, it's yeah. Not yeah. Last I, I know that. I, I know that the RAM doesn't affect how, never how going long to use the... that much, no matter how far in the future you get. You unless you're like an epic video editor. Most probably not six, but it's nice to have it there. Maybe I won't. Like, I just looked at that, like, hearing what people have been telling me, maybe I will downgrade. I think, like 32 I think the real because... reason I think the real reason that you got this is so you could mail it to me. I I okay. don't know. Excuse me. I'm gonna use uh, I'm, something useful. I'm gonna interrupt everybody. Sixty four gigs of RAM is nice. It is, it is. And eventually here in about six years, we'll have the operating systems and the programs that'll use it. But at least he won't have to upgrade for a very exactly. long time. Exactly. That, that's what I'm trying to say. I won't it's uh, in in my are you eyes, getting a are you getting a dual CPU motherboard? No, just a single quad. Uh, no, I don't you, think you so. I haven't that, got you the spec. Get that too, because otherwise you wouldn't have the best. I haven't got. I would, the, I, I'm not trying no. to like when I say the best. Core. I'm he talking needs, like like he needs like an octa core if he's gonna go yeah. all out. I, I'm talking like the best with. I have reason. an octa core. I'm talking like the best. And so it gets five, by like five grand, the best. AMD makes one too. What, I have which a, is better, AMD, AMD or it gets beat by an Intel twenty. Okay, well look, the, the, here here is the best here is the best uh, description I've ever uh, found for the difference between AMD and Intel. Okay, AMD is like a Toyota, where Intel That's is like a of... Cadillac. Okay, a Toyota <laughs> is nice and it gets you there, but it ain't the best. Where you know. A Cadillac is nice, it's comfortable, and it gets you there, and it's one of the best. Mm -hmm. All right, here's no, here's the thing. Here's what I heard. Um, I'm not going to use the car references because I know shit about cars, but um, Obvious. I hear yeah, that AMD. AMD is just as good as Intel. The only difference is that AMD doesn't use as much power. That mm -hmm. it's a hell of a lot cheaper. That too. Yeah. Like. I, when I was uh, when I was searching for parts pieces and parts to build a computer, which I'm I'm still eventually going to build a new computer because this one I got will um will eventually give up. I found a hex core that supports two virtual cores, which makes an oct core, but two solid X or two you know a solid hex. Who makes it? It's AMD. It runs a 3.3 .3, uh three what is it three megabytes of Oh, God, I can't remember. what. Catch. 
No, the uh, the internal cache. Oh, L2. Oh, no, no, I'm sorry. Six, oh. six megabytes of L2 and three of L3. Yeah, I was about to say, three is kind of small. Yeah, three of, uh, of um, L3. And I mean, that's not a bad yeah. processor. It runs at 3.3 gigahertz, each core, okay? The cache isn't the fastest in the fucking world. But you know what? It was 199 compared to the Intel Core i7 that I found that matched its specs and was a little bit faster with the cache. Mm -hmm. That was $1,267. You know what? I think I'd wait a little. I'd, I'd wait that yeah. like two, two milliseconds. You know what I'm saying? Okay, so here's where I need Six's advice. So I've just posted the one that I was looking into getting originally, right? Now, okay. is how long do you think that would last me? What games would I be able to run? Would I be able to run, like, Crisis 2 on high or whatever? Dude, did the, um, the one you have right mm, here... No, no, the one he's got right here... Is, what, I, what I'm trying to ask is... Will that'll I last to... a few years. Cool. Yeah, that'll last you a while, dude. I mean, you got... What your you your, your, uh, it's a nice your HDD fucker. won't last you very long. You'll probably need another one. Yeah, I'll probably I have 120 that. gig, and I can only install two or three games at a time. That's because okay. to keep room open for recording. So what should I upgrade that to, then? Uh, depends. You want a hard drive or a solid state? Okay. Uh, solid state is probably hella it. fast. And solid state is I hella fast, but it's computer. only got a four-year life. Up, yeah, I think I'm going to go I with hard drive. I can put this drive. computer up in, like, 10 seconds. Yeah, but think I about don't. this. Hold on, hold on. I'm not really it, bothered it, about how fast I can boot it up, though. I'm just bothered about what games it can run, uh, how much, like, uh, how many things I can have saved on there. I want, ideally, I want a lot of memory because I'm probably going to sort of switch over to PC once I get my new PC because obviously this is costing a lot of money and I'll be using this the most. So I, I don't really care how fast it takes to boot it up. To be honest, it okay. can take like five the, minutes the, as long as it can run all the games as I want them to. See the biggest okay, problem you with, had... with solid state solid state right now is it's an untested technology. Look, if it, a solid state hard drive is is based off of a flash memory, flash memory, okay, a flash drive only has a life of like two or three years, okay, and before mm -hmm. it goes out. So we're looking at S, uh, solid state hard drives dying within four to five years, depending on how much use they take, okay. Whereas HDDs, they still, I mean. I have one that's 14 years old sitting right next to me. It's a 40 gig. You know what? I can plug that computer in, and it'll run like a fucking champ. So uh, champ. HDD is the, the way, then? It is see. the safer way. It is the, it is the true, tried and true tested method. It, because, lasts, it has okay. a longer life. You have to be careful. You can't pick it up and spike it off the but ground. It's, it's, oh, it's, no, just, no. it's just way slower. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is slower. It's not way slower. It is slower... But it's not like you're going to turn it on, walk away 20 minutes later, whereas, you know, S uh, solid state, you flip it on, bam, you're in your operating system. Now, it is something yeah. like that, but it's not, the, the difference no. is, bam. yeah, bam. seriously, I, I, I have seen some solid states just go like, I, tur I pressed the button, turned around, and it was saying, asking me for a password. So, I mean, yep. uh, like the me. best idea, honestly, for you is... I would have your OS on a solid state. Just get a smaller solid state hard drive, and then okay. save all your games on the HDD. So I mean, yeah. just, I mean honestly, I would slap a 120 or something like that for your um, operating system and anything Windows else that you might want to need because it is Windows. So 120 gigs will be used up in a minute. Um, mm -hmm. Then you put everything else on like a, a terabyte or a two terabyte HD. Now, when you look for HDDs, I would look for something with. Um, RPMs up to like 10,000. 7,200 7, is standard. I would look up for something 10,000 if you want the best, the uh, fastest, the fastest read write access for an HDD. Because okay, mine are all 7,200. And they are loud, but I'll tell you what, you click that button, you're done. <laughs> yeah. So it, going over to the to the graphics card here, and I know this like you, you were like whoa last week uh, six. Uh, okay, let so this let one. Me say this. Let me say this without being interrupted. Right. Okay. Um, you're asking me <laughs> about. Up, <laughs> Sorry. You're asking me about <laughs> how good the video card is. Yes. Like compared okay, to yours, well, which is yours and what? Okay. Well, I'm running two 580s in SLI, and okay. one 680 is uh, equivalent to about three 580s. Yeah. In terms of scaling and performance, um, so you'll be fine running a single. Uh, GPU for most games. Uh, 
I mean, it depends. What monitor are you guys going 1080p or higher? Uh, no, just uh, I'm not really sure because I've got this monitor here that I have now. It's a uh, AOC, and I think it's 1080p. I don't think it can go higher. Um, yeah, yeah, it's 1080p, 1080p monitor, which is what I'm going to use when I get my new PC. Okay, well, 1080p, because um, usually we do uh, marketers and stuff do benchmarks on uh, 2500 plus resolutions, and uh, that's when you tend to see, uh, like, like running Battlefield 3 2500 by 1600 with a 680, um, not even 2 gigabyte of VRAM like you have. Uh, we'll probably run you like 80 or 90 frames a second mm-hmm. um, on maxed out. I can run BF3. Oh, my God. Dude. It's Joe. That's not Joe. even me that time. That's not even me. That was Joe. That was anyway. Joe. Uh, that, that is what the yes. base... That was what with the base drivers when it first came out. Mm-hmm. Like they released a driver patch like a couple of weeks ago, and I played Battlefield Three on it on max out 1080p. I was getting 200 frames non-recording. Wow. I'm not even kidding, and I'm just running two 580s. So mm-hmm. if you have a 680, which is, it's it, it's uh, taking all the new technologies from Nvidia like uh, GPU boosts and things like that. Mm. You're you're gonna be fine for almost any game, okay. um, for 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 a while. And your CPU, yeah, it's all right. Uh, I have an 8150 AMD that's eight cores, runs at 3.6 gigahertz each. But um, the bulldozer architecture that it was based on kind of fell on its face, and it wasn't as fast as what it could have been. So it's really only as good as about an i7 2600K. Mm. Yours, I don't really know a whole lot. of. I'm not really familiar with yours, but um, it's part of the 3000 series, so it's an Ivy Bridge, so it'll be all right. Oh, good. Okay, so that's looking good. That should last me for a while, um, which is what I was looking for. Okay, can um, I say something before we move on? No. Mm. <laughs> can I say Thank yeah, you. Yeah, you Thank can. You. Joe, Joe. Joe. No, uh, no, 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 let Joe Wow. After all that long speech about computers, I just thought I'd tell you that I'm going for juice, and I'll be back in ten minutes. <laughs> Jay, next no, time you see Joe, like, kick him in the ass for me, would you? With the epic commentary. I'll be sure to. Okay, Val, you may you may speak now, friend. Okay, it's my birthday coming up next month, so I'm going to get a new computer and such. So, who here is like the best at uh, computer graphics cards and everything? Because I want to take a look at this quickly. Me. I gotta give. See, the, 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 I looked at yours the other day, and this comes to 149 pounds, right? Which compared to mine, if uh, I don't know. Because it's got like the the sort of like the HD standard graphics, and that's what I have on my PC now. And mine can barely run any game, so I would advise to you anyway. And I'm not the expert, but maybe getting a better graphics card in that one if you can. I don't know if it's is well. That it has like... six interchangeable slots, so I can insert a new graphics card if I wanted to. Okay, so what I would advise is maybe buying like a five. 100 maybe one of the nvidia 500 series because i don't know how much you're planning on using your pc and what for okay so uh, if you're if just you using it for gaming i want to you wanna... right now it's for everything We're downloading music streaming facebook everything okay and if you want a works. decent if you want a decent pc that will cost you less than a dollar i would go with an intel core i7 2500 to 2700k any one of those uh, and then for a GPU, I would have a 560 Ti. Those only run you about 150 to 200 dollars USD. I don't know how much that is in pounds. Um, and then eight gigs of RAM will do you fine. Anything more than that, you would only need if you were like using After Effects and uh, rendering a whole bunch of bunch of stuff. Uh, I would get a Intel P67 motherboard. Those are very reliable and well tested those will run you about a hundred dollars usd maybe more uh it depends on if you're going to be rendering non-stop if you're going to be rendering non-stop i would use liquid cooling for your cpu otherwise just use a stock fan cooler uh modular power supply those will run you about 50 to 100 dollars usd um or you can use a flex capacitor to cool it 
That's basically it. Just pour liquid nitrogen all over the computer. There you go. I'm sure that'd work. That'll keep it cool. People do. Liquid nitrogen is a, a, an actual cooling method. Right. Used by pro overclockers. Mm -hmm. Oh, my guys. So what what are you intending to use this PC for exactly? Are you trying to get like a game PC or just like a decent PC for like just home use? Like if you if you tell me a game that you want to run on Max, I'll tell you what you'll need for it. Oh, that that was my question to V, but um going back to mine, Crisis 2 Ultra. Okay, what resolution? 1080p? Yep. 60 FPS or more? Yep. All the max settings. With and without mm -hmm. traps running, ideally. Uh, and all the extra gifting. I would say a 570 or better. GTX 570 or better. Okay, so mine has a 680, so I should be set there. Yeah, you'll you'll be fine. Cool. 680 can run anything on the market today. The, the, the worry that I have is I get this PC and then like I, I, I pre-bought Crisis, say, or Battlefield 3, I jump on... I want to play it to the max. I want it 1080p, ultra, whatever. Uh, and then it sort of drops. It has, like, uh, like FPS uh -huh. drops and stuff. I don't want that. I want it to run as smooth as possible yeah. in, just, within reason. Just go so look price. up the card that you want to buy, and then just, like, let's say you want GTX 560 Ti Crisis 2. See, there's, like, a 690 here as well. Like Yeah, a, 690 a is going to be... A, yeah, pretty, it's the pretty expensive. Thing is, so like, like compared to my six eighty now, so the price at the moment with this six eighty and everything else is one thousand four hundred eighty four pounds. As soon as I tick that six ninety, it goes way up to um one one thousand eight hundred eighty four pounds. So that's a big <coughs> difference, and I don't know if that'll even make that much a difference. Oh, um, I I take that back. Crisis two on a GTX five seventy, ten eighty p ultra maxed out. With uh, high res textures and DirectX 11 will run you about 35.82 frames per second. Let's oh. see what a 690 will do. Was that for what? What was that for? Five something. 570. 570. All right. Well, GTX 680. I'm going to look up my 690 and see what that can do. But anyway, do you guys? I, I'm sorry about all this PC talk for the people that are watching who maybe aren't in, into this kind of stuff. But um, oh, there's there's <laughs> there is another thing that you can look at it. An i5, 25k, 16 gigs of RAM, GT 680, 12 to 120 gigabyte SSD, and a one terabyte hard drive. I mean, it's like about a grand, give or take, mm -hmm. to build that machine, and it's not a bad machine. Yeah, but mm. anyway, if 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 you guys think that 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 model, that's the one that I've sort of got. Obviously, that uh, that I just linked you to was like the base model, uh, without all my stuff ticked. But it comes to roughly around two thousand one hundred pounds. That's with VAT. Uh, so the sort of for the PC itself is one thousand seven hundred pounds, uh, give or take. So that should d be fine then, according to you guys, according to our twenty minutes of PC talk. Should be absolutely fine for everything. Which yeah, would... uh, DirectX 11, Crisis 2, DX 11, uh, for your model with the 2 gigabytes of VRAM, you'll be running about 100 frames a second. Holy shit. That's going to be pretty cool. Okay, so I'm happy with that now. That's all good. So let's move on to something that maybe Joe can understand. Um, Lollipop Chainsaw. Lollipop Chainsaw is a very good game. Actually... <coughs> V, what's up, man? What do you got? Mr. Yeah, Valentine. Mr. Valentine Pirelli. Is he here? I don't think he's here. V? Yeah, I'm here. Sorry, my oh. mic just disconnected. Oh, okay. That's what they all say. He was probably dropping a deuce. <laughs> dropping a deuce. Okay, um, V, hit us up with something. Mm. Tell us about yourself. There was this one well, time when I was a little England. kid. There was this one time, me and my buddy Keith. That's right. <laughs> me and my hey, that buddy was Keith. almost good. That was almost good. Hey guys, there was this one time, me and my me buddy and my Keith. Me and my buddy Keith, we were out in the woods, <laughs> and we Making shot a, a rabbit. Dips, dropping a dude. <laughs> oh, I can't even do it. I just make myself sound retarded every time. I try. <laughs> 
Okay, okay. Hold, on. hold on, hold on. Okay, I, I you want to know the most recent thing that's happened to me? Okay. No. <laughs> well, you're kind. You just asked me. Uh, you just asked me to tell you something, and now you're saying no. Right. You don't okay. Want... Yes, I'm being sarcastic. <laughs> Please tell me what is it. Uh, I went with my school to this thing called the <laughs> Army Day Challenge. Yeah. And I am aching all over still, and this was like three days ago. What is the Army thingy Mabobber Challenge? Basically, I had to wake up at five in the morning to get to my school. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Then from there, have it. A... <laughs> what a rebel. Shit. Then from seven thirty, I had to have a two-hour coach ride to oh, the actual hell. bay. Yeah, oh, and bless you. it's miserable. Jesus Christ! And the thing is, I forgot to charge my iPod the day. Before. Oh my oh, God! Sweet Jesus! <laughs> oh my God! He forgot no. to charge his iPod. Okay, I'm really <laughs> that I just found on Facebook. Oh, no, um, the iPod. <laughs> no, so I had to sit next to my annoying friend who we. Was it Luke? No, it wasn't Luke. He wasn't there. He, like, wimped out. Oh, no. But anyway, continue. <laughs> and basically, after the two-hour coach ride, I, like, I sat down for two minutes, and then we actually had to do the obstacle course, which was, like, 30 minutes of picking up 20-kilo barrels, moving them across a field, and then oh, climbing God, a wall. Oh, wow. You know what I was doing? I was sat on my ass writing a story. <laughs> or something. <laughs> You know, I've been trying to teach my daughter how to ride a bike. Oh, that that can be an interesting oh, nice. story. <laughs> it is. It's actually kind it's of really fun, really. I mean, it, it's interesting. But hold on. I found this uh, this really cool document <laughs> thing on uh, Facebook, and it's a picture of uh, Rory and Amy. And it says, he waited 2,000 years for her. She pulled apart time for him. Eat that, Twilight. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> Doctor Who references. That's Fuck right. Twilight. Fuck Twilight. Oh, Fuck Di- Twilight. Why do so many people hate Twilight? It's the same as like Justin Garbage. Bieber. I, d- I, I don't Hold particularly on. like Twilight. him, but I don't get why people are this one. I'm going to take the take on this one. Huh? All right. The reason why there is so much hate for Twilight. Because um, it was so successful. Just, it just, just brings successful. shame to the vampire movies. Right. Well, one, the, the, the portrayal of vampires is highly inaccurate. Well, maybe not highly, but there's one defining feature. The fact that the, rea- the reaction with sunlight makes Twilight vampires sparkle like diamonds. Yeah. Or a world vampire would have burst into flames. And died a horrible, Just flaming it, 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 death. Like dark shadows. Yeah. A normal vamp- vampire. In the sun, normal vampires turn to bonfires. When he steps in the sun, he turns into a disco ball. I know. Exactly. Yeah. What the homo. And what then on the top of that, <laughs> every fucking chance, uh, the, the, the puppy, whatever the hell his name is, uh, Jake, Jake. Jacob. Yeah. Every the chance puppy. he gets, he's like, oh, look, I don't have my shirt on. I must walk around <laughs> with my man boobies and my... <laughs> I have to right. say, he does, hold on, he does, have, he does have a very he nice six-pack, okay? I'll give him that. He's got a nice six-pack, okay? But <laughs> look at me, I have no shirt on. I'm gonna walk around this whole movie without my shirt on. Fuck Twilight, it's garbage. It's cute kitty. No, the description of the film should have been one hour thirty minutes of guy shirts off. That's right. I mean it's, 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 you know, it's Twilight the, the Twilight series was nominated um, for four uh awards. And you know what? Lord of the Rings was nominated for twenty one and they brought home sixteen. The world is right. Because Twilight was garbage. Thank you. Only Talking about bad movies. Um, books? What's the... Even more garbage. Okay? Garbage. The books were trash, and <laughs> the movies were even more trash. They were graphic trash, okay? They were so much trash <laughs> that it had special effects. It was that much trash. Here's a, here's the thing, too. Um, a, lot of, a, lot of, a lot of the fan, the diehard fans of Twilight, you know how, you know how they portrayed werewolves in that movie? They're basically just giant wolves yeah in other words dire wolves in the true context but whatever um the real werewolves that we've seen in in, uh, other movies like um you know american werewolf in paris and all that kind of stuff the half man half wolf thing people the 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 twihard the twihard fans they're calling those the ripoff what how could you call that the ripoff it's people, what do you expect? 
you're saying mm-hmm. werewolves are supposed to be beautiful creatures oh, who are majestic and not. No, they're they not. They're supposed to be you. things that come out your closet at night and rip your head off and give you nightmares. I know, large, drooling, yeah. slobbery creatures that eat you because they have nothing else better to do except to follow their animal instincts, which is attack the first thing that smells like dinner. And another, another thing, these aren't werewolves. They're just giant wolves. They're, they're, there's no half-man part of them. The only, the only part half-man about them is their pre-transformation. Butter, but even butter. then, it's still... I don't know. That, 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 that whole book series was garbage, especially with the movies. I mean, when I think of a werewolf, I think of, like... Boner. Hard. Anyways... <laughs> I think of exactly. I think of like even though a lot of people rip the werewolves in um, the um, underworld movies, but I thought the fucking werewolves were pretty fantastic looking in in the uh, underworld movies. They were awesome. I mean, Lycans, yeah. yes, yeah. They they were because nothing like seeing that huge black dude. Which by the way, the black dude in the first movie helped write the first couple of movies. Actually, all three of the movies, he was the co-writer, and. Yeah. I mean, he's just, like, you know, nothing like seeing that big dude turn into, like, an even bigger werewolf. Now, my biggest disappointment with that movie was Scott Speedman. As cool as he looked, though, he looked pretty cool as the mix. But it was still kind of disappointing. So, Tell us about your opinion about the Resident Evil movies. I they think were they're all right. Bravis- I was Resident Evil- oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. The first one was a reasonably decent movie. The second one was garbage. The third one was mildly entertaining. The fourth one, I wanted to stab myself in the fucking eye. The fifth one, I think I'm gonna stab myself in the fucking eye. We were That's talking it. about this. Guys, guys, right, guys. No, they, they should have they stayed to the source material. Yes, they should Yeah, You guys, like, didn't get it, and I kept saying to you on previous podcasts that the latest movie, one called, like, Underworld, was called... Was, oh, had a woman in it. Underworld. It's, it's called... Retribution or something. Residence... Awakening. Uh, yeah. No, it's not. Resident that isn't. It. That's Underworld. Resident Evil. Yeah, that's what I'm talking yeah. about. That's what it's going. No, be. we were going on about Resident Evil. Now you've just suddenly changed it to Underworld. No, Resident Evil Underworld is the movie. No, it's not. No. No. Resident, Resident Evil and Underworld are two different movies. Are they? I'm completely yes. confused. Yes. It's the new one. We is Resident Evil Retribution. Yes. No, the newest yeah. Underworld is Awakening. Big garbage. Yeah, yeah. that's Awakening it. Resident okay. Evil. I've got Resident it. Evil yeah. sucks ass, and Resident and Underworld. Why, dear God, did they make it? Okay, Kurt. Okay, Z. I, I'm, I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put your argument into one statement. You believe that the Resident Evil movies are garbage because they are, you know, video game movies. They're based on the source material. They're they say that they're based on the source material, and you fu- and you fully believe that it bastardizes it. I Which, no. I, I, fans, I guess I guess my beef with the Resident Evil movies is they made everything way too cheesy. Okay, the idea of the Resident Evil games were to have people set into a survival horror situation, and they pull it together, or sort of pull it together, to get out. Okay, instead they give Alice Mila Jovovich the superhero abilities and oh she can fight Umbrella and in slow-mo. In slow-mo. And then on top oh, of that, shit. the guy they got to play Albert Wesker, his hair is so bad that it makes the original Wesker look cool. Okay? Guys. Mm-hmm. Guys. Yes, no, there's only one complaint I have about Yes, that. Joe. What would seen. you like to say? I have a topic. Holy, Holy shit. shit. Resident <laughs> Evil, it looks good. <laughs> hold on, everyone. Oh, that wasn't quite good. Hold on, Aaron. Aaron. All here, Joe's first right, Joe topic. What would you like to say? All here, Joe's Shut topic. Shut up. I, I was going to ask you guys, what's your, what's the worst movie you've ever seen? Okay. Twilight. This one. It's a movie called Tales of a Vampire by Ju- with Julian Sands in it. Me and Wing sat down one night many, many years ago when we were both sad and pathetic and had no life. So it was Friday night, and we went up to the dollar video store and spent about $2, $3 on movies and got some Italian food and sat down and watched this movie. 45 minutes this movie was. Fabene. Yes. And the world slowed down. <laughs> this movie, I'm telling you, seriously, it's like slowed down. You know that's you know you ever seen that scene in um 
what is it? Uh, Over the Hedge, where they give the uh, oh, I like that movie. The squirrel, yeah. the energy drink, and the world slows down, and he's like, yes. Ooh. yeah, okay. That's what happened in the world. I mean, I do so much rubbish. It, 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 right. This movie was boring. It was so boring. It wasn't even funny. Like, I, I looked at Wings and I said, dude, it's got to get better. It's got to get it, It's got, you know, I, 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 I regret telling him it's got to get better. Because <laughs> five minutes later, we were both going. It only got worse. <laughs> All right. No. No. Uh. I want to. I want to get. I'm share my experience of terrible movies. There are a bunch of them, but I can't really narrow it down to one because they're all made by one guy. Uwe Ball. Who Uwe goes Ball. by the yeah? Any movie made by Uwe Ball. But if I had to, uh. if I had to narrow it down to one, I would say, uh, The House, House of the, of the Dead. Dead. Yeah. I've never heard. Okay. Of it. <laughs> Wait terrible. a minute. I liked the. I liked the original House. The the first one. Because it was just so shit. The remake sh- of the House on Haunted Hill. No. It was just so no, shitty. No, 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 it was worth no, no, watching. No. no, 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 no. <laughs> it, was, it was so bad. It was the guy lack who of. Who himself up was the was the uh, explosive expert. Come on. <laughs> that was <laughs> where's, epic. Where's Troll Two? Come on. Hey, that was better okay. than most of UA Ball's movies. Okay. <laughs> Troll Troll Two at least had character development. I know. They're going to eat me. And now they're going to eat me. No. My God. Oh my God. Okay. All right, V, what you got? <laughs> I'm still going to stay on the topic of films because, well, I've got nothing else to say. What is the best horror movie you've actually wait a minute, wait a seen? Minute, wait a minute. You, you haven't even answered the question. What is the worst movie you've ever seen? I said at the, at the beginning, Twilight. Oh. Oh. Yeah, you did say something. Fair enough. Okay. All right. Six. Next topic. What you got? Uh. Okay. My worst movie that I've ever seen was hmm I saw I saw this uh movie called uh, American Zombie and I Ooh. and I it was on on demand on Comcast which, which is a, a TV company where I live and uh it it, it was about it was kind of a novel idea um it was the premise of the movie was um, oh. it was, it was, uh, in the form of like a documentary and they would follow these zombies around, but they were like high functioning zombies. So they were like members of society. Ooh. And, um, so it, it went through like their lives of like different, different zombies. Like, like one character would, would tell you about his day of having to clean out the maggots from him because he's rotting and how people don't accept him because he likes to eat people. And uh, even though it was like a novel idea, it was like so bad because um, they took that novel idea and like threw it out the window and then just turned it into like a bad horror film where they just kind of goes berserk. <laughs> and I, I stayed because I found it kind of funny and kind of equated it to Troll 2. That, 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 that does sound like a good idea, though. Like National Geographic's like looking at zombies in the wild or something. Yeah, only if they like drove cars and stuff. Okay, well that 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 might be drawn the line there. Fascinating. Okay, best horror movie we've ever seen. Wait, I yeah. didn't say mine. I oh, okay, go ahead, go ahead. What you got, bro? Yeah. Um. Well, at the beginning of this year, I saw a terrible chick flick, and it was, <laughs> and it was called New Year's Eve. Oh. I'm not sure if you've heard of it. I've heard of it. It's, yeah. Which movie? It's called New Year's Eve. I've heard of it. Nope, that never movie. heard of it. Never heard of it. Under what circumstances were you forced to see that movie, Joe? I do not want to reveal the circumstances. <laughs> nice. He had to go with his mother. Similar. Your you had to go with your sister? <laughs> it was, <laughs> yes. wasn't it? It was my grandma. Wow. My oh. Grandma. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Joe's cool. Leave Joe alone. Yeah. Jesus Christ. It's cool, Joe. You're good. We we will not revoke your man card, but it's cool. Every, every, no, 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 no. In defense of Joe, everybody has Did to... Did it make it worse? It had Zac Efron in it. 
Okay, you can still keep your <laughs> man you card. Said, uh, <laughs> like the like that like the silence and the. Uh, you uh. can only keep it because you went with your grandmother. Because everybody has to take care of their grandmother and do things with their yeah. grandmother. Because it's yeah. just the way it is. Hey, I hate those people who. <laughs> it, 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 hate it, grandma. No, I hate those people who disrespect elderly people. I can't stand them. Like. I have my fair share of like mocking oh, people, oh, but people who make fun of old people or like there was something in wait, the news wait, wait, in the UK it. recently who uh, like this old woman got like killed and beaten to death, and it made me sick. And I was like, who could do that to a sweet old lady? I just I hate people who disrespect elderly people. Wait, oh, hey. so who was it? I don't know. It was some like freakazoid who killed his grandma. And I, don't know, I don't know what to do, but. Old people have recently, they've gotten a lot more badass in, like, all sorts of media. You know, like, in Metal Gear Solid I was, 4, so, I was looking at Russell Howard, and they had this picture of a grandma and a freaking machine gun. There you <laughs> go. Um, it, what was that of, movie um, with Liam Nielsen? Taken? Taken. Right. Yes, Taken. I think. Taken. That was that's okay, point. they announced the second one, by the way. Oh, yes, uh, that's, yeah, that's what I'm thinking of. Um, thinking of. Now, hold on. Speaking of old people and being badass, in 1976, my great aunt. Now she was, she was German. She was like, uh, she was uh, in Germany during World War II. Okay. Yes. So she had to get quick, or you know, get mean quick, or she got you know beaten and raped. That's the way it was. Um, she was in Philadelphia. Now walking down the street one night in Philadelphia. It's Philadelphia was still mean in the 70s. It still is now. Uh, a. Was she chilling out? And relaxing all cool. Uh, maxing and relaxing and chilling. Yeah, whatever. Shooting some. Be all cool. cool. Yeah. So, it goes like this: a mugger came up behind her to steal her purse. Thirty minutes later, the cops took the mugger to the hospital with <laughs> a broken nose, two fractured ribs, and a broken arm. Wow. You don't fuck with old mean German ladies. No way, man. I would. I wouldn't even. Think yes. Of, you know, yeah, she I uh, respects my elders. Yeah, she. Yeah, uh, talking she, about um. She fucked that dude Kariyansi. up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, talking about um by uh, being disrespectful to um old people. Uh, there's recently been a viral video called uh, "Making the Bus Monitor Cry." I'm not sure if you've heard of this. You probably haven't you heard link- of anything. Yes, I'll link it. Uh, it's um. And yes, I have basically. Heard of it, but I would like to watch the video. Yeah, basically. Oh wait, I just don't matter. Uh, it's basically just a video where they make a bus wanted to cry, and she has received, I think, over half a million um dollars of compensation. Uh, what is a bus monitor? The person that collects the tickets, or no, it's. It's on a high school bus in America. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah right. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, those, they stand yes. at the front of the bus to make sure nobody shenanigans. Yes, ah. but this old woman is sitting on a chair, and all the people around her are calling her fat and telling her that because a kid committed suicide, oh, yeah, I heard about that. that she's not that um, they didn't want to be around um, her. That's why they killed themselves. Uh, killed themselves and just being really horrible. Ah. So you it's can right go donate right. if you want. I'm gonna donate. What a bunch of bastards! Yeah. It's the right kind of asshole to rub in the fact that somebody's loved one committed suicide. Ah. Yeah, I hope oh, those kids wow. get beaten. Wow, They've, it's got those over a hundred thousand um, dollars just today. That's horrible. I fucking That's hate horrible. people like this. All right, on to a less gloomy subject. Poor lady. <clears throat> What's the best horror movie you've seen? And this Jay. Year? Okay. Jay. Oh my God! Yes. Go. Go. What? Go with Go. what? Say horror. what? What? Just, just best horror. Best horror movie. Best horror movie. Oh, best Go horror far. movie. Okay. Um. Oh, I haven't really watched many horror movies. Actually, I'm not really into that kind of stuff. Um. Mainly because they scare me. But um. What's their purpose? I, I don't know. God. Like, I c- shut up. I quite like. Dawn of the Dead, actually. I thought that was a pretty good movie. The original or the remake? 
the original the the one because i remember uh, i watched it with joe actually and what? i was laughing all the way through it at like the zombies and but it was actually a really good movie um i've since watched it a couple of times uh and it's, it's what really about good. the strangers i like that one um, it was crappy mm, but okay. there was um I guess the gr- uh, no, it's not the Grudge. What's the other one? Like the original Exorcist is a pretty good movie. Um, uh, not so much the recent ones. I don't really like them, but the original is is pretty good. All right, Joe, best horror movie you've seen in a while? Um, well, I don't really have a um, favorite, but I kind of like the Blair Witch Project. Chainsaw oh, looks good. <laughs> All right, Sixa, go. Uh, all right, Tony. I no. really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, go, no, go ahead, ahead six. Go ahead. Right, see. Go. I I don't I don't really watch horror movies that much because it, it's Such not that I don't like horror movies. I just don't like slasher movies because they are kind of boring. Okay, there's a difference between a slasher movie and a horror movie. Yeah. Big difference. Well, I'd say what comes out most of the time these days are slasher. Yeah. Well, oh. dig deeper into your into the library, dude. Anyway, yeah, I don't. Uh, I can't. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Does as the original Aliens up, count? As he looks it up on uh, Google, right there. The original Aliens. I. Um. Do, I yes, aliens count? yes, it does. It does. The original count. Aliens is probably one of the best horror movies ever. Yeah. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna go ahead and jump in here. I think my favorite uh, horror movie ever. Oh, 1408. That was good. Oh, that was really good. Never mind. Room 1408. No, yeah. yeah. 1408. Um, I what think is... one of my favorite horror movies uh, of all times is still the original Evil Dead from back in the. Yay! <laughs> Evil Dead. Yes. I've seen that movie and I didn't like it. Oh, Jay. I thought no because I. Get off my own hand. He was just like in a in oh a wrong hell. movie. And then, the American? original Evil Dead had nothing to do with Bruce Campbell cutting his hand the off. Original, that was that was the first two. Evil Dead. In Evil oh. Dead Two, that he did cut his hand off, and all the crazy stuff happened. Oh, okay, Evil maybe Dead. that's what I'm thinking of then. Oh, okay. So tell me, why was the original Evil Dead your? Why is it your? The because best till still today. That movie is creepy as hell. Really, the, it, it, considering it, the budget that creepy. they had to work with. Yeah, I mean, considering the movie was done and shot on seventy thousand dollars back in nineteen seventy something, it is still one of the creepiest movies ever. Even though I can point out where the boom mic is, where you can see the scaffolding in the studio, where you can see the camera guy or some random guy standing on off to the side, where you can see reflection, you know, I can point out all the fuck ups on this movie. Yeah. But it is still scary because of just Ash. what happens. Evil Dead came out in 1981, according to IMDb. Okay, 1979 yeah. is when they started filming it. Excuse me. Oh, well, that's good then. I'm yeah. going Ash. to go and do that. All right, my turn. Ashley. Right. Oh, Ashley. totally forgot right. The Shining. Okay, that was a good Oh, yeah. Movie. Okay, that's, Tony. That was go. not a thriller, though. All right. Um... Uh, there, there have been a lot of horror movies that I've really liked. Um, my favorite series is always going to be uh, the Nightmare on Elm Street series, even though they get kind of goofy later on. Um, see, How'd you uh, like the, the remake? The remake? Like the uh, I don't know. I just, you know, it, it, it seemed. Somebody just. I mean, it. it it made it, it made the series a lot more creepy than it did, than it was supposed to. See, somebody I mean, pointed this out, and I didn't even think about this one. But Stephen King's It was oh, oh, really, yeah. really good. What, what is it about? I've heard a lot about this movie in my years clown. being alive. It's not really oh, a clown. Yeah. It is a it's, inter- yeah, I know. It's, it's 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 a it's a being that's no spoilers, no spoilers. Ah, uh, that's true. It's a it clown a that eats kids that turns into a giant spider. But it's yeah, so much more than that. I remember. Guys, really if we're going to say any more about balloon. it. If we're going to say Come any on. more about it, let's just... Don't you want a balloon? <laughs> Pennywise. <laughs> oh, Pennywise, Pennywise the clown. He, 
Even though he was the only guy, he scared the hell out of me. Oh, he still scares the hell out of me. <sighs> I can't look at like, the book like this, cover like it itself. Yeah. I can't even look at the book without scaring myself. I understand that feeling. So, um, well, hey, look. Uh, or buddy. Quick before we start cut it off, there's one movie that people need to go watch. It's called Cabin in the Woods. I haven't seen it yet. It's all right. It's good. It is a very good movie. Ah, okay. It'll Sounds keep you guessing good. towards the end. Mm. All right. But anyway, we're going to wrap up here, guys. So we're quickly um, <laughs> going to go over what's going to be happening on our channels uh, this week. And then we're going to sign off. So first off, Z, what's going down on your channel this week? Well, this uh, this week, uh, the next two weeks or so, I've, I've declared war on console gaming. So I'm only going to be playing PC until Ooh. probably Ooh. next Friday. Uh, I just started my KOTOR um, Let's Play, and I have a copy of Deus Ex Human Revolution, and I'm going to be doing a Let's Play on that if I can ever get the hang of the damn game. And uh, some custom zombie maps, and if I can find a decent yeah. match on World at War, I'll be doing that too. So. Why don't we download custom Left 4 Dead maps and do it together? We, could well, do we can that. do that too. I mean, I'm going to be constantly putting up some Left 4 Dead stuff. And so on and such forth. And then as soon as I start back on my console gaming, again, I am going to be starting my Bioshock because I eventually have to finish just editing and posting Dead Space. And, of mm. course, shameless uh, shameless plug again. Self-plug. Self-plug Self again. Plug. In oh, God, <clears throat> December, in December uh, and January, I will be live streaming Dead Space and Dead Space 2 on impossible and hardcore mode so that way I can get the last couple of achievements. There's impossible. There's impossible on Dead Space and there's hard hardcore on Dead Space 2. So I can get the final achievements wow. on both games so that way when I go into Dead Space 3, which I'm so excited about, it will have Are you going to get Dead Space 3 for PC or console? Console and I'm thinking about PC, but I think I'm it's just going to be console. Yeah. Do you think your computer will be able to run it on PC well? It should. It should be able to. But anyway, um, Joe, what's going down on your channel this week? Well, I started uploading. Woo! So, round of applause. Yay! Oh, yeah. yeah. It's and good. yeah, I'm just going to... Oh, oh applause, my bad. Yeah. Uh, I'm going to upload commentaries. Just, yeah. Go ask somebody else. But anyway... Uh, v, do you have a channel? And if so, do you do you, are you part of any network of any kind? I think he's AFK. Okay, six. Okay. Uh, six wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh sorry, oh, my, oh, my mic keeps disconnecting. I'm hating this new mic. I'm gonna buy a new one. It sounds really good. But anyway, what's going to be going on in okay. your life? Uh, I've only just started. I've only just uh, got my YouTube channel back, uh, Snake in a Suit. There's not really much else. I'm only going to start posting videos tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of videos. Uh, at the moment, it's Minecraft videos, because that's the only thing my computer is going to be compatible with for a while. 